My name is Jafet Kashaigili. I work for Sokoine University of Agriculture in Tanzania, East Africa. Uh, my current position, I'm an associate professor on environmental aspect, but particularly looking on the aspect of hydrology, hydrogeology, and water management irrigation systems. Groundwater has got a quite broad aspect of use in Tanzania, but uh, the main use is mainly for domestic water. Uh, we realized most we don't have well distributed water distribution systems. So in terms of access to water, it's very easy using groundwater oils rather than ex uh, depending on the land of the river, the river flows, which requires a uh, kind of uh, sophisticated dis water distribution systems, which countries very difficult to meet with their current uh, financial situation in the country. Okay. When we look at uh, most of the industries, when we look at uh, most of the hotels, especially in cities, they are depending much on groundwater. Uh, they've got some boreholes within the proximities and uh, basically in rural areas that is the main water supply uh, as I can say because uh, you find that especially in the arid and semi-arid areas they've got some boroughs whereby most of the communities depend on. Groundwater has got uh, a wide aspect of use as far as when it comes to kind of environmental functions especially for river ecosystems I can say start with we have this aspect of base flow. Base, basically, the base flow component is the groundwater component that sustains the river flows, especially during the dry season. And we understand dry season flows are very important for ecological sustainability of most of the rivers, especially the perennial ones. So really, that is the great function as far as river flows are concerned. Groundwater use for irrigation purposes has not been widely uh, explored, but uh, we have some areas where groundwater is being used for uh, irrigation purpose, like uh, TPC, is a sugar cane in the northern part of Tanzania, the Kilimanjaro part, whereby they are irrigating sugar cane. And uh, we have some trace areas like uh, uh, Morogoro, somewhere in the Kilombero part, we have uh, some areas uh, around Tunga Marenga in Iringa, whereby they are depending on shallow areas for irrigating this small scale agriculture, especially in the dry season, uh, like high value crops like tomatoes, beans during the dry season. So we have uh, a kind of use of groundwater on some few aspects, but not widely extended. And the main uh, limitation has been always on, uh, we don't know how much is the groundwater situation in the country. So we need actually as a country to try to look on the aspect in a wider broad perspective. The level of understanding about groundwater as a country, even the villagers when talking to the communities, they don't know much about groundwater. So the, even at the light of scratch in terms of researching on groundwater really, there would be a lot of maybe capacity kind of engagement process and or issues in order to bring the community into their context. Groundwater is not totally that is not being used. As I said before, is that it's normally on domestic uh, supply side. But uh, what, is re what is not known is the use of groundwater, let's say, for irrigation. Now, this is more linked to what uh, I've just already said in terms of we don't know how much is there. Uh, and uh, nothing is much is known about the groundwater. So until when that paradox has been addressed yeah. is when we can uh, try to vision and try to look at uh, even if we have some policies that are trying to mention about groundwater. But uh, we, don't know. we don't know in terms of what are groundwater governance. Uh, what that should be the issues, uh, how should that one be managed, and uh, what should be a kind of monitoring framework and the likes. So I think there are quite, kind of a lot of issues that need to be explored in order to come to a level whereby we say we can use groundwater in the country.